Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I'm the black powder editor for Guns of the Old West magazine. And today we're going to be shooting a gun I made back in 2002. It's a Ruger Old Army bunt line. It has a 14 inch barrel and it's a hoot to shoot. Okay, this is not your daddy's bunt line. Uh, this Ruger Old Army bunt line is purely a fantasy gun. Uh, not only didn't it exist in the Old West, it couldn't have existed in the Old West. On, on the bottom, you'll see a, uh, a replica Colt butt line. Uh, and these you could have got special order from the Colt factory, but there weren't any Rugers. There certainly weren't any Rugers old, old armies. Uh, so this is just something out of my fevered imagination. This whole Ruger uh, old army butt line project came to pass because I got invited to go to Murray State College in Tishomingo, Oklahoma, and do a story on the school. And Murray State College, if you don't know, is one of the finest gunsmithing schools in the country. I mean, it's a regular state college, but it has this great gunsmithing program there, fantastic shops, absolutely uh, great instructors. Uh, it, was, it was a hoot. But if you've ever been to Tishomingo, you'll know there is really not much there. And I'm just going to tell you one little story about Tishomingo. But I, I arrived there with my buddy Jay Harrell, who accompanies me on a lot of these adventures. And there's only one hotel in town, and the only restaurant in town except for a Sonic Burger is in this hotel. And uh, they take us in, the, the college people, and the sheriff of Johnson County has his regular Sunday table there with all his family and friends where he holds court. So they take us up to introduce him, and my buddy Jay, who's a retired federal cop, uh, says to him, he says, tell me something, Sheriff, what's your position on out-of-staters whose uh, carry permits aren't reciprocated in Oklahoma carrying concealed weapons in your county? And the sheriff looked at us and said, well, I reckon as long as you boys don't shoot no honest citizens, I ain't going to be too bothered by that. And I knew right then that I was going to have a great time in Tishomingo, Oklahoma. This in 2002 at a custom single action pistol smithing class at Murray State College in Tishomingo, Oklahoma. And the class was taught by uh, master gunsmith Larry Crow of Competitive Edge Gunsmithing. And the goal of the class, it was a two week class, was to build a custom single action revolver, which we all did. Though uh, most people built regular cartridge revolvers, what I decided to build to get something unique and to get a decent article out of it, of course, uh, was to make a bunt line special on a Ruger Old Army. So this has a 14 inch Schillen tapered octagon barrel. And I'm going to tell you, I am no gunsmith, even though I attended this class and I had a ball doing it. but. Uh, Larry Crow machined the barrel for me out of a barrel blank because I never could have done that satisfactorily myself. It's, it's very difficult to machine a perfect tapered octagon barrel. Uh, so my contribution to this whole process was to completely tune the action, uh, to polish the barrel, to make the front sight, make this lug, and uh, braze it on to, to hold the loading lever and polish everything up. And when everything was polished, there was another class going on at the school that was teaching bluing, and all of us brought our guns over there and they blued them for us as part of their class. So that worked out, that worked out pretty well uh, for me. Uh, as I said, I had done this originally as a cap and ball gun, which is the way these come. But Kenny Howell of R&D uh, Conversions, now of Howell's Old West uh, Conversions, makes cylinders for 45 Colt for the Ruger Old Army. And I, I still shoot this quite a bit with cap and ball, which by the way, it is sweet. That 14 inch barrel really reaches out there. But for convenience sake, I also like to shoot it with 45 Colt black powder cartridges. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing with the R&D cylinder. Now you've seen these in some of my other videos. They operate pretty simple. What we're gonna do, now the old army, it comes apart really easily, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it back together because everything wants to break apart into its constituent parts. So we'll try to, we'll try to handle this gingerly. 
but the uh, the gun's on half cock and the cylinder just comes right out. Very simple. And this is a two-piece cylinder. Firing pins are on the back cap and the chambers are on the main cylinder. So we'll just load this up with five 45 Colt cartridges. So they just drop right in. Boom. Very simple. All right, we'll get all five in there. And we're going to leave one empty for safety's sake. Now on older R&D cylinders, I always left the one after the pin empty uh, because then I would see the pin through the base plate and I would know where my safe one is. Now on these newer cylinders, there's a slot cut right here on each chamber so that you can actually see the brass cartridge head. So you can find your empty, which is that one, uh, just by looking at it because it's not going to have any brass showing. But I still do the one after the pin just uh, just out of force of habit, I guess. So then this just slides up in here. And now we got three pieces that all want to come apart that we've got to get got to get back in. And of course, one of them did just come apart on me which is pretty common. So we get these in and beautiful. And then we latch it up and we're good to go. So now I'm just going to turn that around until I've got the empty going under my hammer, which is this one. All right, no brass showing. And now I'm safe. So now we're ready to shoot. This pistol has an action like a Swiss watch. It is really smooth to shoot. This 14 inch barrel may look over the top, but it balances so well that the butt line is really no harder to shoot one-handed than a conventional barrel length uh, gun. In fact, it's a little bit easier. It balances like a ballerina in your hand. This is the last thing the loser sees in a gunfight. This gun might be a fantasy weapon, but the reality is, whether you shoot it with cap and ball or cartridge, it's an awful lot of fun to shoot.